In campaign 2020, there are just 31 days left until the presidential election. And right now, groups across St. Louis are working to ensure every voter can cast a ballot. News 4's Alexis Zotos joins us live in downtown St. Louis after spending the day with one organization helping some who've never voted before. And Alexis, of course, this is an exciting opportunity for some people. Absolutely, Chris. So here in Missouri, when you are released from prison and you complete probation and or parole, you are eligible to vote. But this organization found that not a lot of people know that. And even if they do know it, the process can be very overwhelming. So they are working to ensure those first time voters know how to cast their ballots. It empowers you. That's the feeling Mary Kay Roberts gets from giving back to the community. When I came home, I felt like I didn't have anybody. But as soon as I hooked up and I, it was a way for me to get connected in the community and for me to give back to the community. Robert spent much of her adult life in and out of prison for shoplifting charges. And now she's ready to make her voice heard. I'm in my 50s, so this would be my first election that I actually participated in. She's working with the group All of Us or None, which helps currently and formerly incarcerated people. Right now, the goal is to ensure they know their rights. In Missouri, if you have completed parole or probation, you are eligible to vote. I think the process is a, is a confusion part. Pastor Richard Jackson was once in their shoes and wants them to know voting is important. It gives me a voice back into the community to say what it is that I want to say. At least I had an opportunity to vote for this person or on that issue. The group held a notary drive in to help those who've received their mail in ballots. A notary can't see who you voted for, but acts as a legal witness and everyone voting by mail must have their ballot notarized to ensure their voice is counted on November 3rd. We're seeing a lot more interest in people wanting to vote. In some states like Illinois, those on parole or probation can vote in elections. There have been several attempts in Missouri to change the law, but the bill has never passed. Lawmakers say they plan to try again. It means everything to me because I've never voted before. So mail-in ballots have started arriving to people's homes. We have a list on the KMOV News app on where you can go to get it notarized. Several businesses around the St. Louis area are offering that service. And if you haven't yet registered, you still have time for the November election. The deadline to register to vote here in Missouri is this coming Wednesday. We have information on how to do that as well on the app. Reporting live, Alexis Otos, News 4. All right, Alexis, thank you for following that story for us today. And, of course, important information there that you stress you have until Wednesday to register to vote. Thank you.